I'm here with Jerry May, champion of the Junior Boys Division at the CJGA Mizuno National Junior Golf Championship. Uh, so Jerry, just sort of walk us through your round today. What was working for you? What wasn't out there? Well, I mean, I definitely had some uh, bad shots here and there. A couple driver shots really just got just out of bounds. A couple lost balls. Irons weren't as good as I wanted it to be, but my putting was definitely there. I think that's what definitely saved me and uh, eventually led me to win. Awesome. Um, you know, obviously it's a, it's an honor, but what does it mean to you specifically to have your name engraved onto the Mizuno National Junior Golf Championship with the, the likes of Brooke Henderson, Mackenzie Hughes, and uh, Michael Gillick? Oh, I, it's amazing, like, to think that they held the trophy that, you know, I'm, I'm holding now, and I think that, you know, it's really inspiring. Absolutely. Um, what, uh, so obviously there was a bit of uh, unpredictable weather this week with the first three days, you know, we're thinking it's going to rain every day and then today it went from, you know, six degrees to about 22 in the span of your round. Uh, what did you do to sort of focus out there, um, keep your mind off the weather and sort of push through? You know, weather definitely uh, really bothered me like the first two days and I thought it was going to rain. I had everything ready. Like, I had like five towels with me, but, you know. I think what really kept me focused on my round was my competitors, you know, they really, uh, they really made my round hard or like really competitive. I think that's what kept me focused or else, I don't know, I would have been complaining the entire round like, ah, this weather's whack. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, speaking of your focus and stuff, coming down the back nine, it, it was a pretty good battle between you and Yuki. What, uh, what was sort of your mindset and your game plan going in not only the back nine, but you know, the last three holes, um, how did, uh, how were you feeling and what was sort of your game plan going into those? Oh yeah, I was super nervous. I mean, you know, front nine, I, like front nine, it was, it was pretty bad for me, but you know, I, I thought that, you know, still have a chance at winning and then it got better from there. And then I think I was at one point two up on Yuki. I thought, okay, this is pretty easy, but you know, Yuki, Yuki really held on and made a couple birdies and got it back to even. I, and then, you know, I think my game plan changed right after he got even on me to thinking, whatever he shoots, I'm gonna just try to make that. I'm just try to shoot that one stroke less or something. Yeah, and obviously coming down 18 here, you had a, a <coughs> great lag putt yeah. um, on 18. But uh, besides that shot, um, was there any moments out there, you know, like you said on the back nine when you realized, you know, I could win this? Was there any uh, sort of clips in your mind that, that will be uh, stuck with this this win at Mizuno? Um, I mean, I had a lot of shots that definitely were pretty memorable. Um, most of my uh, putts and chips this week were uh, really memorable. I mean... <laughs> Shots, iron shots weren't that good. Besides the last hole, I mean, they were going everywhere. But you know, it was really, it's really my chipping. It was really my putting. I think one shot that I think I'll remember is number 17, where I just tickle the hosel. It goes way right, and I'm thinking, geez, okay, he's on the green, and he's putting for birdie, and I got it. Definitely saved this one just to keep it back at even. And I hit this flop shot, but just. Has an unlucky bounce, and I'm just thinking, oh god, all right, I'm gonna be one down going to the last hole, it's gonna be pretty tough. And then, you know, I have like probably a 15 foot putt for par, and I make it. I think that was really memorable for me. Sort of what uh, I was out there with you on the 17th, and um, you know, what, what were you thinking when you were standing over that 15 footer? Um, just sort of go through what, uh, what you saw in that putt and what it did, and um, what you're just sort of focusing on. I mean, I, I feel like I kind of zoned out from everything that was happening around me. I mean, like, yeah, I think Yuki got pretty close, and I was thinking, yeah, I definitely got to make this, but, you know, when I got over that putt, didn't really think of him, didn't think of really anything else. Besides my time, yeah, I was trying to keep that low, but, yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I just looked at my line that I had on my ball, and I just tried to stroke it. You know, this event being a little different than most, 
uh, junior golf tournaments. Uh, it's a four day compared to you know a, a one or two day junior tour uh, and invitational. What do you what do you think are the the positives and do you think it helps uh, you develop as a player to play in a four day event? Oh yeah, so I think it definitely it definitely develops a lot in places. One, you gotta be um, fairly athletic to you know keep keep strong after four days, and that's you know you're walking four days and that's kind of tough and you know you get tired and I think that really developed that also I think that it made me think more of each shot and not the next because I was thinking like you know 72 holes you know every shot's just as important and I mean I only beat Yuki by one shot and that's not that much for four days I think to really develop my consistency and uh really just playing this shot yeah awesome and uh last question what was your favorite part of the tournament the whole week doesn't have to be on the course could be off the course whatever you want what was your favorite moment the last five days getting that buffalo wrap after my round man that was worth it winning <laughs> after today's round oh I, it's still waiting for me downstairs oh, well, we, <laughs> we gotta get you out of here then you gotta yeah. have that bite into that nice buffalo chicken uh winner's wrap but uh, thanks for chatting with us, Jerry, and uh, have a safe drive home, and we appreciate it.